We're recording? Ready? No. It'd be like, okay. We're just going to talk about TBA. I'm going to ask you some questions and you're going to talk about your experience. Can you put your phone down? It's, it's in my pocket. Great, great, great. Yeah, okay. I want to, okay. Ready? So your name, grade, and school. Introduce yourself. I'm Isabel. I'm in 12th grade and I go to Holliston High School. Uh, hi, I'm Alex. I'm in the 12th grade. I live in Brookline and I go to school in Weston. My name is Ozzy Probstein. I go to... <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be so difficult. It's fine. I go to Brooklyn High School and I'm in the 10th grade. My name is Gabe Rosen. I'm in 11th grade and I go to Gann Academy. Ben McMahon, 10th grade. Hi, I'm Jossie Rodenstein. I am in 12th grade. We have my name is Alexander I'm Sam Abdallah. Hi, I'm Leah Castor. Uh, my name is Jonah Goldfarb. I'm Sabrina Klebnik. Hi, I'm Danielle Vilas. Hi, I'm Kim Radowski. Um, I'm Alexa Weintraub. I'm a senior at Newton South High School. What are you involved with here? Um, here, I come to Midwest Shaw on Mondays. I team assist on Mondays and Sundays. Um, I babysit for Becky's kid on Tuesdays. Um, and I am the president of Bagel this year. Um, I go to Midwest Shaw every week. And also am a teen assistant with the seventh graders. Um, Midrasha, Bagel, uh, the Israel Exchange. Teen assistant. Teen assistant. I've done some musical and theater productions with TBA in the past. Um, how long have you been here? Since I was three. What's changed over the years for you here? Um, Mostly like my connection with the people here. Uh, I think it's my involvement in the temple. I think it's my want to be here. Um, it's a decision that I make to come here. And I think that's what's changed for me over the years. At one point I was not attending Major Shaw because I felt no connection to the temple. And now I'm I'm going to be I'm going to have been on the bagel board for almost three years and I'm involved. I go to Major Shaw every Monday night and it's a big part of my life. It's just changed a lot. Um, I don't know, it's a safe place. People I trust, people I've known for a long time. Um, I'm always, I feel free to speak my mind. Um, talk about whatever I want to talk about. I just feel comfortable here. That it's just a place that I can hang out and just be myself and take things I enjoy doing. You know, it's less about the curriculum and more about the community. I've learned to recognize what it means to be Jewish and continue Judaism and pass it on to my family and like future to come. Through TBA, I've learned how to be a good person. Um, I think the values in the community and all of those different parts that were taught, I mean, for me starting from preschool, just taught me how to have a perspective on the world and how to see other people's perspectives. I think it's great to be at Temple and to be able to talk with other students in an atmosphere that isn't um, like school. And it's just good, it's good to have that community outside of everyday school life. It's just nice to get to come here Mondays and Monday nights and just hang out with Temple people and forget about like my day. If it was bad, I can just end my night having fun with people. I just like feel like I belong here and I like can be my, completely myself here and I, without TBA I wouldn't really have that place. It's given me like really special connections um, to Israel and like different people and friends that I've made. I mean it's important because I get to see some people that I don't really get to see often during like the school day or otherwise. Temple yeah. friends are like the closest friends because you've been through so much with the same people like a lot of these a lot of my temple friends I've gone to preschool with and then a lot of my temple friends gone to Israel with gone to New York with and it's like it's way different than other types of friends I guess because it's yeah they kind of have something different where you can like you're almost like more open with them and you can have more intriguing conversations with them it's different than friends or school friends because you don't have to worry about kind of like the social dynamic at your school and your grade in your classes when you're here. 
have you felt supported by TBI? And how? Uh, yeah, I have felt supported by TBA. I think that I can come here, like to talk to people about different things, whatever it may be. Um, I don't think I get that at school or like other places as well. If I'm ever stressed or anything, I can come here, I can relax, I can talk about it. There's no, there's no one ever judging me here. I can I just be my true self. And so I think that having a space where I know I was comfortable and I knew I was safe just through a really rough period of my life was so helpful. TBA in general is just a very supporting community if you have any problems. You can always voice them and you always get support. Would you say TBA has changed you and if so, how? Um, I do think it's changed me. I think, I think I've definitely matured a lot here. I've, I spend a lot of time here, so I think I've learned a lot here. I, I've kind of found myself, I've become myself, um, learned like, what I'm about, what I care about, and just to be myself. I think without TBA, um, like I don't think I would have become like who I am today. I think it's helped me grow as a person and um, like become more confident in myself. TBA has changed me in like every way. Like every time I come here, like it's just a place that I can like be myself and like let out whatever I need to let out. And like there's always someone to talk to. I guess I've learned a lot about why it's important to like recognize Judaism and like continue to pass it on to my children and my family later on. I don't think I'd have like a really strong connection anywhere like it, after being here for like 15 years like it's like home and family it's like um I can't imagine what my life would be like because this is like such a huge part of my life it's like the biggest thing that I do so. What I would say to someone younger is that this is such an important place to come and like have a community of friends and like peers and like older like adults that you can trust and rely on and who share like common values with you. I would say stay because when I was younger I didn't really like coming here because you know I had a couple friends that came here but later on when you start to get to know people it becomes like a much more enjoyable experience. There's nothing else that they're going to do that's um, as important and meaningful as this and like it, you just develop so much over the years and you become very attached to like the people and the experiences so it's absolutely worth it yeah so it's it's hard for me to like tell someone like take my word for it like it's worth staying but I mean I have I'm here all the time I feel like there's there's something to say for that I'm coming here because it's fun like I never have a dull moment here like all the big events all the meetings all the every midrasha like they're all my favorite and that's why I come if I had to explain to someone younger than me why they should stay at the temple, I would say that it is important to be a part of a community that is based on Judaism because it gives you a connection to other people, not only from your school or from your outside activities or something. It just gives you a connection with people that you wouldn't necessarily have anywhere else and it's really unique and important. It's different. It's, you're gonna make bonds with these with kids that you would have never met or decided to connect with otherwise or anything. You're here to learn, yes, but also to have a place to go and have different a different group of friends, more importantly. I think eventually you get to the stage where you start doing what you want and you kind of get what you want out of it versus what you think your parents want you to get out of it. I think it starts becoming meaningful to you in your own way. You're not going to want to, like, you're going to want to choose yourself to come here and not have your parents because it's such a good time and, like, coming here doing anything, that you're never going to have, you're never going to be bored. Without TBA, I would be a lot more stressed and unhappy and I, I would find it difficult to have people to turn to in difficult situations. I literally, every time I walk in the door, I know that I'll be supported in whatever I need or, um, like, literally, like, I'm a teenage girl, like, I'm gonna have issues that I, like, I come and talk about them and always feel supported. There's endless things to do here and, like, you'll find 
you'll find a group here, you'll find a place you feel safe, and you might not necessarily like think right now, like I'm gonna need the temple one day, but at some point everyone's gonna need the temple um, in one way or another. So just to have it there, to have that group, to feel like you could come here, there's just so much value in that. So just to stay involved even a little bit is so worth it. What does it mean to you to say goodbye? It's really sad. <laughs> Um, I don't know, this place just like feels like home. Even the people from other grades that like I've become close with, it'll, I won't see them anymore and people from my grade that I've been with since third grade, it's just sad um, that I won't see them every day and have this like safe place to be. <laughs> I honestly can't think of saying goodbye to this place. I mean, I know I'm graduating, but I think that for me, this will always be a home and this will always be a community. I mean, I've literally grown up in this building. I spend so much time here, so much time with all the people here and all the staff here. And I just think that TBA will always be my temple, even when I've grown up and joined a different one. I just, there have been so many things that I've learned here and so many things that I've realized about myself here that it's not gonna be a goodbye. Even the last time I step out, it's still not going to be goodbye because TBA will forever be a part of me. All of the lessons I've learned, who I am is literally because of all of the people in this building. And there's just no way to say goodbye to that and let go of it. So TBA is like the largest Jewish part of my life. And so I think having, not being able to come here every week or, or more often, um, it's going to be hard to keep up with Judaism in college. But I think that um, for high holidays or after college, I'll be able to come back here and have these fond memories. Um, and so I think that I, even though I won't be able to come here for a bit, it'll always be a place I can come back to and feel at home. <laughs> um, saying goodbye. <laughs> okay. To me, saying goodbye means that I'm leaving a place that I feel so at home and so comfortable and supported and it means that I am leaving a group of friends and peers that I care so much about and a group of adults that care, I care so much about and I know care so much about me. It's been so important to me to like be here and have this place that I'm just so thankful that I've had it throughout my high school experience because it would have been very hard for me to get through high school without having TBA and saying goodbye is so hard to think about and something I really don't want to do but here we are. <laughs> oh it's really weird I haven't thought about it that much because it's upsetting but yeah um it's um, saying bye, it's like saying bye to, it's like leaving home and it's like you just want to like come back and visit like it doesn't feel right to leave forever, you know, it's like, it's bye and it's, it's bye to like coming here every week and being a part of a grade because everyone's splitting up but it's, you have to come back, so I don't know, it's really sad though. Um. Is there anything else you want to say or add? Or? Uh, thank you to TVA. And that's all. <laughs> These questions, like, did you like make separate questions for separate grades? No. Did you add certain ones for the seniors, though? Only one. Is it, what's it like saying goodbye? If I'm gonna, if I were a senior answering that, I would cry, and that's not a joke.